Hi, Tommy Heffern here from Precision Microbes. Um, I want to talk about in this video something that I thought was quite interesting um, that I've discovered over the last while. I've always been suspicious that water quality may be playing an issue in calf health. Um, water is kind of an obvious one. So when we think about calves or not any animal for that matter, there's a couple of basics that I always talk about. Air quality is really important. Air contains a thing called ozone, which is a natural disinfectant. Water, which we'll talk about in this video. We spend a lot of time thinking about feed. Now, precision microbes, pro and postbiotic liquids are really helping calf health by aiding digestion and supporting digestive health. And then the environment that the animals are in are really important. We think about infection control, and we're doing some really nice work with environmental microbes as well there. Um, I suppose water is an obvious one. I just want to focus on that one today. Water, like it's the building block of cells, it's building block for animal health. But when we think about water, we think about clean, available drinking water for animals, and that's key. When we think about calves, we have the also, we use a lot of milk replacer. We mix a lot of water with milk, repa milk replacer. Um, so we really want to focus on clean water there. So uh, if we think about a farming system, one of the beauties about this project is I get to work across all species now in different systems. And I was looking actually, talking to Lisa Hopkins, a specialist in pigs, and what they were doing in, uh, on the pig side when it came to water quality. And some of the issues we're seeing. It was kind of a eureka moment that it may be a challenge as well for us. So if we think about a farm, we think about water, so the source being either mains water here or maybe well water, we often test that. Um, and obviously it's water we're drinking ourselves, maybe on farm, where it's fine, or well water, we're often drinking it as well. But what is interesting, what happens in the pig system, water quality, when they test it throughout the system, can deteriorate rapidly. And I'll explain why. So if we think about a farm, especially an expanding farm, we can have different sheds, we can have water going through different systems, and even within sheds, the water has a bit of a journey to do through troughs, okay? Um, often if we think about maybe new calf houses, they can be at the end of a system. But when we actually think about water, we really look at the system, because flow of water is actually really good for keeping water, tank, water tanks and, and things clean, is uh, it's header tanks that contain water. So uh, particularly I have been testing header tanks myself with just normal water tests and we've come up with some really high readings. So header tanks in calf sheds, header tanks anywhere, anywhere there's water been stored. Uh, I've been working um, sort of just with even culturing kits and stuff like that on farms, looking at water quality and amazing some of the bacteria you can grow on them. Um, I, so when we think about testing, I'll talk about what I was doing on farm recently and I think it was a real eureka moment. So I got an ATP meter, I'll put some images up of what we're actually doing with the ATP meter. But basically it's using reflective light and it's uh, when ATP is released it's an enzymatic process uh, that gives you a, a reading. This is the scale here uh, and it was really interesting to go through the system with a vet on farm. The farm was going using precision microbes but it had ongoing issues with calf health so we wanted to really look at the overall system. We actually identified the water could have been one of the challenges and sure enough the testing proved that it was so it'll be interesting to watch that farm going forward but I think this year alone I've seen a number of farms where suspicious water was an issue um, okay we'll talk about testing water now and I'll go into this system again so again to, to look at water testing, we'd often think about potable water samples and, and testing it, but to have a, an ATP meter that gives you a real time, um, uh, this is the scale for here, so it's, it's zero to 500 and there's different graduations, but it was really obvious in this farm. We went in, we checked the source, uh, water was fine, we moved through the system, there was different sheds. Uh, interesting to go into the sheds, so we did about, I think, 30 tests on it, I got a bit carried away. Looking at water flow and troughs, some really, really, really high reading, so it's a real eye opener to watch the, the water quality deteriorate. We got to the calf house, again at a header tank, uh, and we looked at water quality really, really high here. So it was a reading of 55,000. So we certainly identified a challenge, and I think it's a challenge on a number of farms. Why this is important and why this could be occurring, it's not unique to this farm, is uh, we have to understand when we, when we put water through pipes, okay, um, and particularly we go into header tanks and storage, storage uh, tanks for water on farm, we can get the build, up, build up of a thing called biofilm. It's kind of a slimy layer that can attach to pipes, particularly where flow rate's an issue or water sitting there. So if you have seasonal calving systems, water tanks should really be cleaned out at a minimum. Um, but that biofilm, that slimy layer, provides a fantastic layer for bacterial overgrowth. So bacteria tend to feed on this biofilm and particularly coliform bacteria. So um, what the ATP meter measure is actually measuring coliforms, okay? Um, now, um, what the beauty about this system was doing in real time is we tested the water at source, the mains water was absolutely fine. And 
absolutely with all our 20 odd readings we could see on the farm the deterioration of water quality in real time in front of our eyes and why that's an issue for calves is well when we think about we're feeding milk replacer um, automatic feeders um, Again, I'm a big fan of automatic feeders. They're a huge labor-saving tool. But we're, again, we're putting um, wa water, we're putting milk replacer into hot water, heating it up. It's, if we have uh, contaminated water going through these feeders, we can, can see a massive increase in bacterial over overgrowth. And that will lead to issues. Because what Precision Microbes is absolutely outstanding at, as we're gut health pro and postbiotics, what we're doing is targeting the gut microbiome, supporting digestion, supporting the good bacteria in there. But we do want to make sure that we have a biome-focused uh, solution that the whole farm that there's not issues. So water is something um, you know I'm increasingly asking people around when we're talking about long-term use. So I think this farm with the combination of 30 mils daily of microbes per calf, um, and they're going to go feed right through up. We're going to support gut health. Uh, we're going to target clean water so that the, the system is going to be cleaned out. And a lot of farms, I think, even looking at your header tank. So, okay, everyone won't have access to an ATP meter, but I think we need to get probably better at testing water at source. So even if we're doing potable samples, the key thing is if you're testing water, did you get the sample into a local lab as quick as possible um, and give us some relative measurements there as well. But the ATP meter for me was kind of proving a theory right. Again, that eureka moment of talk to Lisa about pig systems and how water quality can deteriorate through the system uh, I think we've proved on that farm that it certainly can be an issue on our farms as on our dairy farms as well. Um, okay, water quality, one to think about this biofilm and, and this buildup of bacteria. Again, where we're mixing milk replacer using automatic feeders, we want clean water going in there. Um, it's a kind of a building block along with fresh air, feed in the environment. Um, adding precision microbes in, you don't have to ask me, but I think we're game changers in the gut health space. But it is about that biome approach. So this one was just for people to think about water quality on your farm might not be an issue um, and think about it through the system because as it flows through the system the build up of biofilm may be an issue on some farms and I think it's something people need to be aware of so this was what this video was uh, building a bit of awareness around the holistic approach uh, you know don't forget about water when we're thinking about calf health going forward on farm thanks for listening